it's time to learn another type of data binding available in Angular, that is property binding. Property binding is a powerful way to set the value of an HTML element's property directly from your component class. It's like the bridge that connects your component logic with your template. Let us try to understand property binding with the help of an example. And I'm going to use the same project that we created while learning about string interpolation. So let's serve this and I'm going to place the browser next to the code so that we can see the changes easily. Now let's try to understand why do we need property binding. And for that I'm going to open app component template file. I'll add a simple text box by using input element with the type attribute set it to text then I'll save it. It's here and I can enter any text inside it. Now suppose I want to disable this text box to prevent entering text into it. I can simply add disable to my input tag just like this. Save and it will become disabled. But if I want to disable this text box conditionally how can I achieve that? For that, let's try passing true here quotes and see if it gets disabled. Yes, it is disabled now. Now, if I set it as false and save, it's still disabled. However, since we are passing the value as false here, it shouldn't be disabled. And it is because false is being treated as a string here. Let's try again with string interpolation this time. Using curly braces, false, here. It is still disabled because we know that string interpolation always returns a string. So let's see if instead of passing a value here directly, I go to our component file and declare is disabled and set it as false and then use the same in our template file mm, here. Again, it didn't work because of the same reason, that is, it is still being treated as a string only. And this is exactly where property binding comes into the picture. So let's try to make this text box disable conditionally using property binding this time. And for that, syntax is pretty simple. You just need to put this property inside square brackets and get rid of the curly braces from here and save. Now you will see that the button got enabled here since we have assigned this variable value false. Now let's make it true this time and see if the text box got disabled again. And yes it did. It is working in this case because we are passing the actual boolean value here instead of passing a string as we were doing earlier. Now. Let's try to add a placeholder to this text box. And for that, let's add a variable placeholder text, type string, and assign it a sample value. Let's say full text stack and semicolon. Now go to the template file and put placeholder attribute inside the square bracket as per the syntax and then equals pass the variable here and hit save. Simple, isn't it? Now let's duplicate this right below and this time instead of using property binding, let's use string interpolation again. Remove these square brackets, replace this with curly braces and hit save. Here you see this also worked fine. So we can conclude that string interpolation and property binding are both mechanisms used in Angular to display dynamic data in your templates, but they are used in the different situations based on your needs and the context of your application. However, there are some common use cases where you can choose between them based on your preferences and specific requirements.